What's going on guys? I'm back with a TV and movie podcast and today I have for you Amazing Race Season 34 Episode 6. Last episode we saw Sharik and his daughter go home and they got eliminated. I'm not too surprised about that. They weren't doing too well throughout the season. But what I am surprised is that Will and Abby got eliminated because they caught COVID. And it was so crazy because I actually picked Will and Abby to get eliminated this episode when I was reacting to the last episode. But I didn't think it was because they were going to catch COVID. So I hope for them to have a speedy recovery and I just wish them all the best. But as a result of their early absence, this will not be a non-elimination challenge. And I totally understand why. And But nevertheless, this race still counts because... This race will still determine how they will place in the next race moving forward. And the last team to finish this race will place last for next race. And they have to leave 45 minutes later than everyone else. And they have to leave alone. They can't leave with groups as the other teams will leave in groups. So that's crazy. Everybody's pumped up to win this race because it's very important. And let's just get into it. So the military brothers are the first team to get to one of the destination points. One of the destination points is they that have to say the Arabic alphabet without messing up. And one of the brothers are having trouble pronouncing one of the words, I mean one of the letters in the Arabic alphabet. So they decide, hey, the clue says that both of us have to, didn't have, it didn't say we both have to say it. It says we could each have to say it so maybe we can just separate it you say the first half i say the other half and that's what they did and then they accomplished it pretty quickly other teams get to the other destination points we see aubrey and david they choose to dance lewis and michelle choose to dance emily and molly choose to do the alphabet and they finish that quickly as well aubrey and david get done doing the dance lewis and michelle get done with the dance pretty quickly and they all go to the next destination point which is the cart making challenge i guess and they got to make this cart and then once they're done they got to carry it get some items and then go to the final destination point where they have to uh, well basically that's the end you know they have to get to the finish line that's it and but there's all the other teams doing the uh, first challenges like Derek. He can't roll his R's and he's the, with, there with Claire. And so they got to literally teach Derek how to roll his R's. But I'm just shaking my head like, Derek, you don't really have to roll your R's. You can just make the sound and copy it. So I don't understand why he's having difficult. They literally taught him how to do this. Like. Like, have you ever used low? I mean, <laughs> have you ever <laughs> used Listerine, bro? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like the mouthwash, right? You, you you just gurgle, right? That's just the you, the sound you make for the R's. And so they taught him how to do that, and they finally get that finished. Other teams are doing the dancing stuff, like Quentin and Maddie. Basically, the dancing is just learning this Arabic traditional dance that they do in the country Jordan, and that's basically it for the for the weddings and all that. And there's other there's one more team left, and that's Glenda Lumbumba. They keep messing up the dance, and they're getting a little bit frustrated. Actually, I wouldn't say they're getting frustrated. They're just having a good time messing up. But we see other teams starting to finish. We see Lewis and Michelle. They finish their cart making challenge, but the cart that they made ends up breaking while they're trying to carry it. And they just fix it real quick. And then Aubrey and David are right behind their tails. And Louis and Michelle get their first win. I mean, their second win in a row. But it's their first back-to-back -back win. And wow, they Louis even says that they might be the team to beat. So y'all better watch out for them. Because I don't think another team has done a back-to-back -back win like that. So if they just keep doing this, bro, that's going to be crazy. But Aubrey and David went from seventh place last time to second place this time that's a huge improvement got to give a lot of respect to them and yeah don't be sleeping on on these teams like aubrey and david because they can just as easily get number one like lewis and michelle did and we see the military brothers they they were one of the first teams to do the cart making challenge but there's other teams passing them like quentin and maddie got third place 
Even Derek and Claire got fourth place, and then finally the military brothers got fifth place. And then the sisters, Emily and Molly, got sixth place. Not their best score. I assume they're going to improve on that, but the military brothers and the sisters are leaving for, as the third group. Or, yeah, I believe the third group. Quentin and Maddie and Derek will be the second group, and Louis, and Michelle, and Aubrey and David would be the first group to leave. And so the last group to leave will be Glenda and Lumbumba. They finally get to the finish line. And Glenda's really bummed out. She feels like she left her husband down. But Lumbumba is just saying, yo, you didn't leave me down. So, um, like I said last, last episode, man, you never know with these races who's going to win. But I will say that Glenda and Lumbumba, even though they're last place, this is in foreign territory for them. Remember when they were trying to make the bikes and all that? They were the last team to leave that. Even Rich and Dom left before them. And they got there after them. And so that was one of the first legs. And then after that, the second leg, they got to like further they got maybe fifth place or something like that they went from seventh place to like fifth passing rich and dom something like that other teams like i believe aubrey and david as well so if they can do this like they did it last time on the second leg but next episode for the second leg on the next episode they might they might pass some of these other teams and surprise a lot of these other teams and still be in the race if they can just you know make up for that 45 minutes man i don't know who's blowing a 45 minute lead couldn't be me but we never know man maybe glenda lumbumba will not get lost and another team could get lost you never know so this has been a tv and movie podcast hope you guys like my recap and reaction of amazing race season 34 episode 6 see you guys in the next one peace